It's 12 days now till Christmas, and my producer thinks because he wrote the introduction to this piece, he can get me to sing about golden rings and turtle doves. Not so fast, Ben. Instead, our gift to you is a behind-the-scenes look at the Post's annual holiday craft contest. This year, 166 entries were submitted, seven finalists chosen, and now it's up to you, the readers, to pick your favorite. This is the third annual Washington Post Holiday Crafts Contest. I was one of the three judges today. We had a lot of fun judging the crafts, and uh, we had a lot of laughs, too. And we'll see who wins this year. A crafter from Catonsville was inspired by Alexander Calder, whose work hangs in the National Gallery, to create a Christmas mobile. And basically, all she used was fishing wire and Christmas balls and she balanced the whole thing to make really a lovely mobile. This is a Coptic stitch envelope book. The book opens to a series of envelopes where you can put each year's letter to Santa that your child writes. And then you have an archive of it and each of the envelopes is really beautifully made and makes a wonderful keepsake. The gentleman who made this quilt in Rockville told us that he looked out the window on a snowy day and was inspired by the vista. This is a technique called machine trapunto, and it is a beautiful wall hanging, sort of a small quilt, and it's done in all winter white. The woman who made these traveled to Norway with her family. She's of Norwegian descent, and she decided she wanted to pick up some patterns to make some mittens and a hat. We thought these were beautifully made, and they have a lovely pattern and a lovely color. This is a shotgun shell wreath. We were wondering how the uh, producer of this craft got so many shells, and it turns out they own a sporting clay facility in Virginia, and she was collecting all the empty shells one day and found that she had an idea of what she could do with them. And apparently um, there are other wreaths made of shotgun shells, but this is very unique because it has the balls added to it. This is the only piece of jewelry that made the finals. The crafter describes it as being shuttle tatted, the form of tatting, almost like lace making. It's very delicate. She was inspired by snowflakes, and so she made three snowflakes and embellished them with pearls. It's a great idea to turn an Easter craft into a Christmas craft. These eggs are really beautiful, and they are traditional Ukrainian Easter eggs called pisanki that this crafter created uh, into Christmas ornaments by adding a hook on the top. Which do you like best? Voting is open until 4 p.m. Eastern time on Friday. Head to WashingtonPost.com slash Holiday Crafts to vote. The Reader's Choice favorite will win $100, and you can check back next week to see all the winners. That's all for us for tonight. We'll fold things up. Hope to see you back here tomorrow.